I'm Senior Constable Jane Illy. I'm a dog handler for the Queensland Police and I'm attached to Brisbane Dog Squad. I joined the Queensland Police in 2009. I was 26 years old when I joined. My first six months on the road uh, as a first year I spent at Petrie Police Station. I was then uh, sent to Sandgate for my second six months and from there I got my permanent posting uh, at Stafford Police Station where I spent six years. I knew fairly early on in the job after my training that the dog squad is where I wanted to go but I did know that it was a very competitive area. I had to put in a lot of hard work, you know, with directing my career towards that. It took me six years, then I finally got shortlisted and got an interview and missed out. Uh, about 12 months later, I had another interview where I succeeded. From there, I then had to go and complete psychometric testing. And then you have to go on a 14 week dog course, which is very physical and it looks a lot easier than actually what it is, I guess. Choosing the dog squad is a lifestyle choice. We have our dogs with us 24 seven. They live at home with us. They become part of your family. The dog relies on you and we rely on the dog for, for the results. You've just got to learn to work your family life and your work life together. Then sometimes it works out really well and other times it can be really difficult. My family understand that I love my job and, and they've known right from the beginning that shift work may take me away at times, but they've also seen the, the good side of it, of, of what I do. Of a, of a daytime, if I, I normally assist investigators with uh, search warrants where we're helping them to try to locate drugs that are hidden through good concealment methods. So we search houses, we search vehicles, we search nightclubs, we search people. Uh, pretty much anywhere where you think a drug could be concealed, a drug dog will search. It's a great job. You get to experience many challenges and you also get to, to test yourself and really push yourself and conquer things, I guess, that you never thought that you would do. You've got to be motivated. Like I said, you've got to be, you've got to be willing to push yourself. You've got to go that extra mile. And if you're motivated and you really want it, then, then you'll get there.